So certainly HDR and LDR treatments are a fundamental of medical physics. And so there's a very good chance you will get asked something about one of those two categories in your part three oral exam. And so for example, we may see a question here where they just show you a diagram, a planning diagram or figure and ask what procedure are you seeing here? Where are the isotopes and prescriptions? What are different implant techniques? What is the planning criteria for coverage and OARs? And then just some general information about planning or going through with these type of procedures. And so this is a loaded question. So we'll begin here shortly. And First thing I want to mention is that I, in my opinion, it was always very helpful memorizing as many task groups as possible, because even if you didn't know one of these questions, you could always refer to and say, you know, I don't remember, but I know that TG 137 is a task group for LDR, uh, you know, brachytherapy seat implants for prostate, and I would refer there first and foremost. I always thought that was a very good compromise if you were unsure of a question or just to throw in there for bonus points. And so, as I mentioned, this is LDR. And so the isotope and prescription. So the you can use I-125, that tends to be the most common. You can also use a palladium 103. This is becoming more popular. And then finally, cesium-131, which is the least popular. And so with I-125, you're going to use a prescription of 145 gray for palladium-125 gray, and then finally cesium-115 gray. And now this is because they have different half-lives and the palladium has better control and lower side effects. So that's why that's starting to become more useful. But as the, the half-life decreases, so does the prescription here. So definitely do some research. You gotta know these and you have to know why that is a fundamental question. So what are the four different implant techniques? So we have loose seeds, preloaded needles, stranded seeds and the MIC applicator. Maybe know some quirks about each one, but also remember if they don't ask you to explain each individual technique, you don't have to. And oftentimes that's just a trap to dig yourself a hole or to waste valuable time you may not have in the future. So try to keep it simple, concise, but obviously try to get those bonus points where applicable. So what are the planning criteria for coverage and OARs? And I mean, this uh, certainly could be a loaded question, but so your V100 needs to be at or greater than 95%. You want your CTV to be covered 100% greater than 90% of that CTV. So let me put 90% CTV is at or greater than 100% of your dose. So now some constraints. So when you're talking here with prostate, you're talking about rectum, you're talking about urethra. And so rectum, your D2CC, you want less than your RX dose, which again will be determined based on what isotope you're going to use. And then your urethra, your D10, you want less than 15%. And so these things, I know at some point there's so many numbers, you can only keep some straight. Try to remember ballpark numbers there, what you want. The general CT and contouring recommendations. So this is uh, where there is just, there's a lot to know. Hopefully you have some experience with it. Also, maybe with the previous question too, you want 150% of your dose to the urethra, a less than one CC. So that's like almost not quite max dose, but you want less than one CC to get that. So first thing first, you're going to look at maybe a 15 to 25 needles. And that's also true for like HDR. But if you're using like stranded needle seeds for the LDR, that's going to be something you're going to look at. A average prostate volume is 30 cc. 
the seed activity for a normal LDR, and this is for I-125, is going to be approximately 0.4 millicuries. And you will end up using, I mean, this is a big number, but 45 to 75 seeds. Now, I know this just seems like a mumble jumbled mess, but to an examiner, if you know these basic things that says, hey, I have experience with this or I've studied it enough to know generally what I would be looking at for a safe treatment. So if you are putting in 150 seeds, that should raise alarm to you as a physicist. But if you don't know that the average is 45 to 75, then you wouldn't know that 150 was twice as many as you should have something something close to that that's why they like to know those things so typically there's a three millimeter ptv margin you also want your ct slices to be two or three millimeters no no need to go to one millimeter but don't have like five millimeters or something larger than that so to see the urethra, you can add contrast to the Foley. You definitely also want to do a post-implant CT approximately one month afterward. And I will let you do your own research on the pre-plan, the post-plan, and the QA, why you do these things. But that is a good kind of overview of an LDR brachytherapy prostate treatment. These things are just really good to know. Be sure you are familiar with that technique because it is one that you definitely could be asked on your oral exam. So if you have any questions, please comment below. Best of luck and happy studying.